Hi everyone, my name is Sean Tusi. I'm CEO and co-founder of Glow3DApp.com. Our startup is focused on the idea of 360 product photography for online merchants. In this video, we will go over how to add a 360 spin image to a Wibbly product page. So this is a typical product page of Wibbly where we have 2D images and we'll go over how to add a 360 spin image as um, one of the pictures on the explanations. We will also talk about how to add a 360 spin interactive photo where you could literally play it and move it around, see it from different angles and zoom in to see uh, extensive amount of details to your general Wibbly page. Unfortunately, it is not possible to add these 360 interactive photos to the actual product page, but it is possible to add them um, in the product page, in your blogs, um, or other places that uh, you have the ability to uh, consider that as a typical Weebly page instead of the uh, specific product page. In product page, we can use the 360 spin image, which is basically a GIF um, uploaded to the image section. So without further ado, Let's get started. So here I am in my item library. So I've created the Wibbly website. I have um, added an online store and uh, now we want to focus on 360 product photography integration. I'll go inside. So this is a typical page and we have some 2D images. Um, um, we typically go here and add an image, but this is not where we go. So for this, um, 360 spin image will go here where the section says add other media types. So there are two types currently when we're recording this video that you could add additional media. One is upload a GIF or GIF and the other one is embed 360 photo. Unfortunately, currently when we're recording this video, which is towards the end of May 2020, Wibbly is not supporting uh, 360 photos of um, generic platforms they do have their own service where we have to ship the product to in a specific location they create a 360 photo and embed it to your page which is this one um, and uh, and because of that we will work on upload gifs but obviously before we can upload the gif we need to create it and uh, for that we'll go to glow3d.net which is our platform and um, I have already created um, 360 photo of my different products and this is the product that we're talking about today so I've already created the 360 spin uh, photo of this product uh, if you would like to learn how to create a 360 photo like this um, that we have a video that the card will pop up somewhere in the screen most likely to the to the top right position right now and you can click on and uh, learn different ways of creating 360 product photo car or small like a bag a shoe or as little as a jewelry so once you have created this 360 photo for the purpose of our video today i will go to these three dots and i will say download gif so you will see this note that suggests that if you can use desktop you will have more options and more control over the gif generation um, but for this purpose um, this gif would be enough and will do a great job so i would like to turn that on the watermark and add my store which is pottery mania and i will choose a large size for this video and i will start downloading it so the platform will start generating it as you see here to download once the download is complete it will ask me where to save the file so i select the folder i uh, select and i'll press save and i will uh, save the file now that i've saved my gif i'll go back to the page and here i'll say upload here i upload the gif that i generated and here is being uploaded so once we complete the upload, we're basically done. So we save from here. We refresh the page, our preview. And here is our 360 spin image. 
with our watermark. Obviously, we could turn off the watermark, so this uh, will not show here, but that would be an option that we decided to leave it on. Now, we will go over how to add the Interactive 360 version to a typical Weebly site. For that, I'll go back to my edit screen and I will come to Websites, Edit Site. And in this section from here, I go to Add a Section, scroll down to the Embed Code. In the setting of Embed Code, there are a few different options where I could decide how I would like to set it up. So it could be like this, or it could be like this. And from here, I can choose what I'd like to add in each section. So for example, here, I will add I will add a description. And I come to the embed code in this section. I'll go back to my glow3d.net page. And in here, I'll select share. And from here, I select embed. And I will copy the embed. I'll go back to my page and I will paste the embed code right here. So what it does, it connects to my page and it embeds the code right here. So now let's see the preview. As you see, it is added here where I can zoom in, I could move around, see it from different angles. We'll close the preview. Let's say I would like to add another item, so I'll repeat the process. I'll add another section. I'll go to embed code. So now the new embed code is added. So I could choose how I would like to set this up by clicking here and continue the process. That easy, that fast. Thank you for watching.